Hello and welcome to the Target PT 2023 series. Today we are going to talk about GS Mains Paper 1 syllabus from the perspective of your examination of both Mains and Pre. But why am I saying Target Prelims? Because I have broken down the GS Mains Paper 1 topic wise for you all to understand what is important and what is not. Okay? And this will be for useful for both Prelims and Mains. It's a good breakdown. So I have divided the entire segment subject wise when I talk about GS Mains Paper 1. We have art and culture there. We also have ancient history, medieval history, modern history. For means, specifically what is important, post-independence, apart from this, world history, Indian society. And world, Indian, world and Indian geography is also important for prelims and means both. So first of all, we are going to divide it in such a manner. Otherwise, it will become too lengthy and you might also get bored. So I've divided into four into four. Okay. So first we will, in this episode, we will cover art and culture, ancient history, medieval history, and modern history, the syllabus. The next episode, which is, it is a continuation. It will be a continuation of this episode only. Post-independence India, world history, Indian society, and world and Indian geography. Okay. So first of all, let us see art and culture. So art and culture, of course, Indian culture, salient aspects of art forms, literature, and architecture from ancient to modern times. In Indian art forms, we have first Indian paintings in which you will cover from the perspective of both prelims and mains, mural paintings, miniature paintings, Mughal Rajput, Pahari paintings. Apart from that, dances we also have in which classical dances are important, folk dances are also important and modern dance is also important. But of course, you will pay more attention to these two. In music, we have classical as well as folk music. Both are important. Apart from that, puppetry. A question could be asked from here as well, especially, especially if we have any puppetry in news. String puppets, shadow, rod, glove puppets, modern puppetry, tribal puppetry. This is of course the static part, but be very careful if any puppetry other than these are also in the news. In pottery, we of course have the ochre colored pottery, black and red ware, painted grey ware, northern black polished ware, glazed and unglazed pottery. And in dramas and theatres, we have classical Sanskrit theatre, regional theatres and modern theatres. Especially the first two are very important. Moving ahead, now in martial arts. These are almost all the time you will see definitely some news related to these martial arts. Thangta, Gatka, Kalari, Payattu, Malakham, Silambam and other important martial arts. If they are in the news, do read about them. You will find it on any authentic web website. Of course, we will cover the in Drishti IAS website and in our segments in the uh, Drishti IAS YouTube channel. But if you find anything uh, from the government of India's website as well, you can read about it from there. Now, in visual arts, very importantly, learn about the sculptures of the Harappan civilization and modern age. Very important. In postmodern period, we have Jain sculpture, Buddhist sculpture, Gupta medieval school of sculpture as well as modern Indian sculpture in which Gandhara and all sorts of Mathura art and everything will come. In Bhakti and Sufi movements, we have spread of Bhakti and Sufi movement. When did they originate? What is the span? Who were the important uh, names? Which were the important names in the Bhaktis and Sufi movements? Okay, women poet, this is very important. Okay, pay special attention to this. Now, moving ahead, now we have literature. Very importantly, Sanskrit literature in which Vedas, Upanishads, Puranas are important, books which are written by important writers, Kalidas, Vishakdat, Kalhana, many other important writers. Ancient Buddhist and Jainism literature are also important. In Dravidian literature, of course, you can get confused in the Sangama period one, but do revise it over and over again, you will get on it. In medieval literature, the trends in medieval literature as well as modern Indian literature. All right, moving ahead, now let's talk about architecture, in which, of course, Harappan architecture is very important as well as the modern architecture. But in postmodern and Gupta period, postmodern and pre Gupta period, we have temple architecture. Know about what are the styles, Nagara, Dravida, as well as Vesra, which temple has been constructed in what style, what are the characteristic features of these temples. Examples of these temples, span of these temples, these are important ones. Apart from that, we have cave architecture, Buddhist, Jain, as well as Gupta period. Especially remember in whose, uh, for example, first of all, the location, the caves, 
as well as in whose reign was those caves sanctioned to which sect these are also important in the medieval and indo islamic architecture very important this this particular point is very important from that perspective provincial style imperial style of the delhi sultanate of course delhi sultanate was dominant but provinces were also there different provinces and different kings were there which who had their own style of painting so that is important mughal style sikh style of architecture uh, rajput architecture as well as the salient features of them now in the colonial architecture and modern architecture of course this is very important specifically uh, if we talk about the current scenario with respect to current affairs i'm going to emphasize over here the central vista uh, which was uh, which is still in construction so you can get questions with respect to modern architecture also the installation of subhash chandra bose's uh, you know statue will also be questioned with respect to modern indian architecture so this is important in order to understand so post independence indo saracenic architecture as well as what is the european influence the contribution of buddhism and jainism to the development of indian architecture is also important in which rock cut architecture of south west and eastern india will be asked now all these are a part of both ancient medieval and modern history but specifically we have clubbed them together under art, art and culture then we have ancient history here we have prehistoric here stone age chalcolithic age and iron age are important what are the significance of these region the time span uh, which kind of sculptures or tools or cave paintings were you know um, recorded in which age apart from that when did domestication start when did agriculture start uh, all these things will be important from this perspective in ivc ivc is one of the most important sections of ancient history how did the ivc people did town planning so grid system will can be asked which city was distributed or uh, you know segmented into three different regions or three you know one was the citadel lower town and another other uh, there there is one city which has which has been divided into three different sections okay so these kind of questions are important harappan society was it uh, a priest led society was it a society of oligarchs was there an influence in the bureaucracy of the bureaucracy that is also important what are the characteristics of major centers because harappan cities um, are getting inscribed in many major list so what are the significance of dhola vira important significance of lothal can be asked ropar can be asked alamgirpur can be asked apart from that harappan art and, art and architecture which artifact was discovered from where what kind of materials were they using what were the reasons of decline when did it start declining actually of course these all are theoretical uh, but factual information will be important from the perspective of prelims as well then for vedic society of course we do not know the original homes of the aryans it's not very clear it's all theory but how did the theory evolve who propounded which theory so these are important socio economic characters of vedic society in which era of the vedic age uh, in which uh, time span of the vedic age did women get subordinated or in which age the caste system was much more you know visible or clearly demarcated which mandala was written by whom and of course in which era it was in which section of that era it was written vedic literature social organization and varna system is very important in religion and thought who propounded what thought then we have pre modern period in which number of janpadas specifically from the perspective of map you can remember Jan mahajanpadas very well so the capital of mahajanpadas are also very important the haryanka dynasty shishunag nanda dynasty the important rulers of these dynasties what was their administrative structure what kind of palaces what materials did they use important writers who traveled jainism and buddhism we have gautam buddha mahavir and growth of jainism and buddhism decline literature everything is included here modern empire here we have chandragupta and bindusar and arthashastra is very important it is important that you know things about arthashastra as well megasthenes asoka and his successors asoka's inscriptions and sites this is a very favorite part for prelims asoka's dhamma modern administration economy society and art useful for both pre and mains and decline of the mauryas then we also have post modern indians in which when did the 
इंडो ग्रीक सराइव इंपॉर्टेंट रूलर्स ऑफ देम शाकास पार्थियंस एंड कुशाना सतवाहना एंड अदर इंडिजिनियस डायनेस्टीज आर ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दीज वर आवर ओन डायनेस्टीज ओरिजिनेटेड इन इंडिया स्कूल ऑफ आर्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डू रिमेंबर टू रीड अबाउट इट देन वी हैव इम्पीरियल गुप्ताज पोलिटिकल हिस्ट्री एज वेल एज एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन हाउ डू दी आर्ट एंड कल्चर डिवेलप Why it is known as the golden age? Importance of it, economic conditions, urban centers in Gupta period. What are the official names and everything? This could come here. Moving ahead now, let's talk about Harsh Vardhan. What are the sources for Harsha's period? What was the early life of Harsha? Harsha's administration, important officials of the empire, economy under Harsha, Hind Sang, of course about him, society. What was the religion? This is very important from both the perspective of prelims as well as mains. Now. the southern dynasties are also important which you tend to forget about so don't forget about them very important rulers satvahanas pallavas chalukyas pandyas cholas and rashtrakutas a very important film was also made uh, with respect to southern dynasty do read about it then we have medieval history here delhi sultanate is very important in which the mamluk dynasty or gulam dynasty or slave dynasty because the rulers of this dynasties were slaves so Of course, this is important. Khilji dynasty, Tughlaq dynasty, Sayyid Lodi, important rulers. Ah, uh, innovations. What did they innovate? Any system that they introduced. What was the administration? Administration during their rule. Were there important, uh, you know, uh, writers and uh, you know uh, any sort of Sufi saint? Everything that you have to remember here. It will be revised from the perspective of art and art and culture, and then medieval history. struggle for empire in north india here we will talk about afghans rajputs and mughals all right moving ahead now if we talk about mughals here babar humayun akbar jahangir shah jahan aurangzeb and later mughals and then they declined this is the favorite thing for upsc mains but no for prelims as well because conceptual questions can also be asked so exactly here how we will remember write small notes for them for babar you can write the reign origin then uh, if any innovations were done important painters or uh, you know travelers anything that is related to babar you can do for babar and then of course the, on the similar lines for other rulers as well so dynasty maratha empire deccan sultanate ahmednagar bijapur berar golconda bidar so these are the central southern indian basic dynasties you have to remember now comes very important modern history modern indian history from about the middle of the 18th century until the present significant in events personalities issues then we have another very important part the freedom struggle here the various stages and important contributors or contributions from different parts of the country so let's talk about that important modern history events before 1857 so here we will talk about the later mughals regional powers because of the decline of the mughal empire there were many vassal states that started claiming regional powers being as regional powers so for them as well we have to know this is important carnatic wars what about the battle of plassey and buxar anglo mysore and anglo punjab war socio economic conditions of people european penetration of india and british conquest of india so this is what is the lead this is leading towards the british imposition in india now comes the british policies once they have acquired the land area they will formulate their policies the policies and their impact on economic administrative and socio cultural also what were the reform movements raja ram mohan roy dayanand saraswati vivekanand everyone will come here rising against the british pre 1857 because 1857 is a huge revolt before that we also had localized revolts so localized revolts how and when they were you know how which revolt you was conducted when then what were the reasons for them who were the important leaders in that revolt what was the outcome if there was any act passed or or if there was anything else done so everything is important small battles there as well then revolt of 1857 very important for both pre and mains causes leaders nature of revolt of 1857 how was it suppressed and what was the consequences there were act passed the administration went to the went under the crown earlier it was under the east india company what was the act of good governance this was the outcome okay so remember that growth of nationalism they were not happy with the way things were still going on although 
the uh, you know the administration passed on from east india company to the crown uh, but it on the ground it was the same so of course there were there was the growth of nationalism political economic as well as administrative unification of the country so here important leaders their organizations objective of the organization role of western education and press over here then rediscovery of india's past important books which were written and then early political movements which were there formation of the indian national congress era of moderates moderates are also very important growth of militant nationalism after that we have militancy and revolutionary activities here we have swadeshi and boycott movement surat split international influence if any parliament to reforms and growth of communalism after this then we have very importantly the beginning of mass nationalism the gandhian era in which mahatma gandhi his ideas and leadership what were the different movements that he you know experimented with montagu shamsford reform rolet act satyagraha and jallianwala bag massacre very important non cooperation and khilafat movement who were the swarajis and no changers emergence of new forces in which socialist ideas youth and trade unionism different unions were formed different leaders also cropped up so these are important apart from that revolutionary activity who were the revolutionary activists why did they do so what was the result okay simon commission and nehru report and civil disobedience movement then comes the round table conference who attended what is also important uh, what was the outcome of it this was the communal award and pune pact signed between whom and whom this is the superficial one basic information is also important participation in elections to central legislature and provincial assemblies which party remained dominant then how did the government of india act 1935 tried to reform the structure but not a lot could be achieved towards freedom and partition here national movement during world war second the august offer as well as individual satyagraha who did the first ever individual satyagraha the concept of it then there was also growth of communalism peasant movement is also very important and state people struggled there were different states as well so crips movement quit india movement vavel plan important features of it okay when did it started there was a very generic basic question in mains on 8th of august this particular year what happened so you could answer it was qim ina and subhash chandra bose about him ina is the indian national army cabinet mission nationalist upsurge post world war second and independence plus partition so this is the first for one then i will continue with the next part in the second episode okay so stay with me thank you so much for watching and stay updated